very dramatic day in court as a young man learned his fate. He beat his girlfriend's little boy to death because he wouldn't stop crying. Brittany Smallwood has more on today's sentencing for us. Hi, Brittany. Teresa, it was intense at sentencing. The courtroom was packed with family and friends supporting the defendant, Dylan Shoemaker, and the victim's family. As soon as the case was called, Shoemaker walked into the courtroom and started crying, telling everyone how sorry he was. I didn't mean to kill Austin. Actually, I really didn't. You really think I did that? I didn't mean to hurt him. Dylan Shoemaker walked into a state Supreme Court room pleading his case, telling his victim's mother and the court he's remorseful for what he did. Shoemaker was sentenced Friday for beating 23 month old Austin Smith last March. Before the sentence was handed down, Shoemaker and his defense attorney fought for the minimum sentence 15 years to life. I can't take back what was done. I wish I could. I would give my life for Austin. I loved him a lot. Austin Smith was completely defenseless. That's a, that's a given. But there were other dynamics at work there, including my client's inability to either control his anger or frustration and his inexperience in babysitting. Based on his short life now, what is to say he won't do this again? Well, we don't know that. I think it's completely unlikely. It was a situational, circumstantial thing. In Judge M. William Bowler's last words to Shoemaker, he told the now 17-year-old that in his short life, he's caused so much despair to so many people. Bowler said he listened intently to Shoemaker's testimony during trial and called him a manipulator who minimizes his actions. The record will show that you admitted on July, that on July 23rd, 2013, in a phone call to your mother from the holding center, you stated, and I got a quote from the court reporter, I am a 16-year-old blonde. Probably all I have to do is cry in front of the jury and they're going to feel sorry for me, end quote. Afterwards, Shoemaker was sentenced to 25 years to life behind bars. Shoemaker's defense attorney, Joseph Terranova, says he plans to immediately appeal the sentence. Both say the death of Austin, Austin Smith was not intentional. Reporting live in the newsroom, Brittany Smallwood, News 4.